And we begin with a heartbreaking story tonight. And you know, none of us like to report news like this. A 12-year-old boy lost his life today. It happened at High Falls State Park in Monroe County. He got caught in the water and swept over a waterfall dropping 20 feet. I'm going to show you a picture of him. His name is Christian Burdett. His parents are devastated, of course, but they also have a reason to be thankful. Christian's 17-year-old brother James was with him. He also got swept down the waterfall, but he was rescued. And that rescue was dramatic, dangerous, and it was all caught on camera. Take a look at this rescue. And if you look, you can see the helicopter, and it's got the tether hanging down as they lift him out of the water. And then as they start to get him out of the water, now they've got to bring him down to safety. And there you see him absolutely frightened. He was out there for a, a couple of hours today. Ron Jones is with us, and yeah. you were at uh, High Falls State Park today right. uh, trying to figure out what happened here. What did you find out? You know, I wanted to walk the same trail as those young boys. I wanted to see what they saw, so I did that, and this is what I learned. High Falls State Park is a beautiful recreation area. A lot of families come out here enjoying the trails and the scenery, gorgeous. So let me take you down the path that these young men probably took before they headed down to the rocks. And I just want to point out that no matter where you go along this trail, there are huge signs warning you about the rocks and the dangers of swimming. So let me take you a little farther down the trail. It's about 100 yards to the rocks. We're going to speed things up a little bit just for brevity, but um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is the next sign that we see when we come down the steps along this trail. It says, warning, do not go beyond this point. Violators will be prosecuted. But let me point this out. Right below that red sign, you see that icon there? It states explicitly no swimming. So let's go a little farther down. Let me show you this next sign here. Pretty much the same thing, keep off rocks, no swimming. But emergency crews pointed this out to us as well. You see this little waterfall there? He says if you get stuck in that waterfall, it's like being stuck in a washing machine. The water just keeps churning and churning and churning. It's so much pressure, there's no way that you're going to get out. All right, let's go over to the next sign. This one sign in particular, right here, it says warning fatalities and serious injuries have occurred on the falls and the rocks. Uh, according to emergency crews, the 12 year or the 17 year old was rescued from this area and then airlifted up there to that bridge to safety. However, we're being told that his 12 year old brother, that somehow he got caught on some rocks down here. He was pinned underneath because of the pressure of the water and he was not able to get up. He was not able to overcome that pressure and that's where he passed away. That water's absolutely roaring yeah, there. Yeah, right? it, it really is. And you know, the video really does not tell the picture. I mean, you have to be there to experience that pressure there. Now, I want to tell you about this, lo this young man here. He's a close friend of the 17-year-old. He knows the 12-year-old as well. He came out here to pay his respects to those two kids, and this is what he had to say. I was just hanging out with him 48 hours ago, playing basketball, having the time of our lives, living you know, fall break. And to hear this on the news and everybody just, he's dead. It's horrific. It's so sudden how life can be taken from you. Absolutely. Truly sad. Thanks so much, Ron. Yeah, absolutely. All right, for those of you not familiar of that area, I want to show you exactly where it is. Uh, this is High Falls State Park, and you see it's about halfway between Atlanta and Macon. Uh, it's in Monroe County. It's about an hour south of where we are here. You know, a few people on our Facebook page posted that other people have recently been hurt at the fall. So we reached out to some area sheriff's departments and Georgia's DNR to see how many deaths and injuries have been reported over the years. Well, we haven't heard back from them yet with the hard numbers, but we were able to find out on our own that a 37-year-old woman died in May after falling at the park while hiking with her family. And of course, we'll keep checking back uh, with officials to get full details on recent accidents there. In the meantime,